What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got one for all the Tommies and Ginas out there. It's NECA's Bon Jovi. That's right. There's an ultimate Bon Jovi. We're gonna see what's going on. Let's check it out. As promised today, we'll be talking about the NECA Ultimate Bon Jovi. Let's see what we've got going on. All right, so technically this isn't categorized as an ultimate figure, but for all intents and purposes, it's obviously an ultimate figure, right? But it is the Slippery When Wet Tour action figure. Bon Jovi, New Jersey, Slippery When Wet, Slippery When Wet Tour action figure. There you get a nice view, picture, and figure on the inside. Bon Jovi at the top, Bon Jovi on the side, flip it to the back, you've got Bon Jovi times four. With their bigger is better approach to rock and roll, Bon Jovi changed the landscape with their release of their seminal album, Slippery When Wet. The rest is history. I probably wouldn't have put it that way, but, ah, you know, I like Bon Jovi. All right, includes guitar, microphone, and stand, interchangeable hands, and face plates. There's some important information and instructions on how to change out that faceplate. Flip it to that side, some more Bon Jovi stuff, but let's get them out of the box. So your box insert for this one is a nice lighted stage, so you can certainly use that as a backdrop if you like. Fresh out of the box, this is exactly what I want from NECA when it comes to music figures. So obviously this channel spends a lot of time talking about Marvel Legends figures, the occasional DC stuff, but I trickle in some NECA here and there. I really started collecting figures with things like uh, McFarlane's Movie Maniacs and uh, the, the music-related figures like the Ozzy Osbourne figures, the Alice Cooper sets. Uh, I've you know, got some older things like Joey Ramone, Iggy Pop type stuff. Uh, that's really where I started collecting and, and truly my first love of collecting action figures. Um, I'd like to see more of this. I don't particularly care for the NECA figures in the soft goods. I think the heads kind of look a little big, bodies look a little off. I want more of this. Uh, bon Jovi, sure. Wouldn't have been my first choice, but I'm absolutely here for it, right? Obviously, I, I picked up the figure. It's got a place in the display. Uh, so I, I certainly want to see more of this type of stuff. You know, maybe run the gamut a little bit. It could be... Classic rock would be certainly appreciated, but you know, you want to throw in some like 90s artists, some 90s hip hop, that would be great too. I am here for whatever NECA's got down the pipeline if they can continue to do things like this. So, you see, you got the figure, he's got the mic on the stand, extra set of hands. Instead of a swappable head, you have a swappable faceplate. So, I'm a little curious about that. I get it, I mean, it saves you one step, but uh. Uh, particular, you know, I, I like the extra heads, but hey, at least you got something here. So I'm curious to see how that face swap works. And then you've got the guitar as an accessory. Let's take a closer look. Moving in closer, it's obviously Bon Jovi, right? Pretty good likeness. Uh, for what it's worth, I mean, it could always be more realistic, but I think that's pretty damn good. Um, this doesn't look like much. I'm sure it'll look a lot better once it's in the in the hair there but uh really good likeness so far lots of great detail all throughout the jacket uh the pants these look great very much 80s on point scarf looks good you've got little details like the button mixed in there uh yeah the the little sheriff's badge he's got a necklace on under there he's got chest hair i mean they they went full force on that you got good color throughout the hair, nice coloring all throughout this jean jacket. This is what I love about NECA too, is they really do put a lot of the fine details in here, even like the buttons down on the jacket there, the tears in the elbows. Uh, he's got a guitar pick in one hand. Yeah, so excellent details all throughout. Throughout, guitar looks really nice. Uh, not individual strings, that's fine. Some of those older figures had individual strings and kind of gets weird over time so these still look really good and uh, will certainly look nice in the display it's a great representation of a stratocaster from nice fender strat right there so all is looking pretty good there let's take a look at articulation of course neck is not super 
well known for the high levels of articulation they do have good articulation good enough right these are certainly more known for their level of detail and uh, that is just fine with me all right he'll look up only to about there hair is going to be pretty limiting for you he'll look down to about there so you've got some pretty good space in between the chin and the chest there you can move his head around the hair won't limit you too much side to side so you definitely get that and you get some rock around too so you'll be able to get his head into a position you know, he's got the mic you want him singing you'll be just fine arm will move around just as such it will come out to about there you have your elbow joint that'll give you a nice l shape there and then back down and then of course you do have your hinge at the wrist and you can move the hands all the way around gives you just what you need right there's there's certainly no uh room for anything else but you get exactly what you need from these you got your dumbbell down in the hips there and uh you've got that in the upper torso as well so you can certainly move the chest and lower abdomen around pretty good deal i don't know what kind of positions you're getting joe bon jovi into but you know jumps whatever some great 80s flying rock star poses whatever you'll get them there leg will kick up to about there back to about there and then a nice high kick to the side so yeah that's a it's a great like 80s hair metal kick so no upper thigh cut on the figure you've got your single joint down at the knee nothing at the calf and then you do have a cut at the upper boot and of course your hinge swivel down at the ankle so you get a decent range of motion like i said these aren't uh, super articulate figures but they give you what you need and they look damn good doing it for your hands you're gonna have an open hand so that'll allow you to uh, grab the neck of the guitar not really any sort of picking uh, so he's not like playing any particular note there but it'll at least give you the ability to grab the neck pick in the other hand to play so that's cool like that detail it's in there so not a little piece to lose certainly nice detail he's got rings on the hands too and they've even got little painted details in there so again I really like the extra steps that NECA puts into these figures. For the other set of hands, you do get another hand that is open, able to grab the neck of the guitar, but this is seemingly in a formation. So uh, for me, I think this will match well with the pick playing hand. So he's playing a note there, right? And then you've got the open hand if you're just going to rock the mic. So it gives you a little bit of an option there. In order to swap the face plates, you're just going to pull up at the chin. That'll pop right out. You get this marginally terrifying look in the middle. And then you can just pop that other face plate in by sliding it up under the hair. And then it'll port into the holes in the back of the face there. So if you want to have them singing, right, I guess that's more along those lines. Still pretty good. Definitely a great representation of John Bon Jovi. Guitar fits nicely in the hand, so you can get it in there. You can imagine him telling you that you give love a bad name. Or maybe he's wanted dead or alive. I don't know, folks. We're halfway there. Don't worry. Stay tuned. For comparison, here is your Bon Jovi figure backed up against a McFarlane Slash figure from some years ago. Again, this is a, a part of my collection that I truly enjoy. Something that really got me into it in the first place. So uh, anytime I can get you know a, a good rock star in action figure form I'm, I'm here for it here he is backed up against NECA's Freddie Mercury so with Freddie they did give him a nice little stand Bon Jovi did not get the same I would argue that Freddie deserves it though so uh, no harm no foul on my part and here he is with some punk turtles because uh, hey they're NECA that makes sense right this is a, a total 80s vibe right here just going down some weird rabbit hole where you've got turtles who are into punk rock but bon jovi is friends with them i i don't know you who knows all right folks well there you have it there is your neca slippery when wet tour action figure for bon jovi one that uh i had no idea was coming out 
until I saw it. And uh, when I saw it, it was a, I gotta have it, right? So something I certainly would like to see more of NECA doing instead of the ones with the soft goods. That's a personal preference to me, but these look significantly better. And uh, I will happily buy whatever they decide to put out. So NECA, if you're out there, please, you know, give me those ACDC figures, but in this style, <clears throat> please, please. Anyway, that's the two cents, folks. It's a nice figure. It looks good. I love what NECA does because they really do put some good work out there. And uh, I'm happy to get it when it's something that really calls to me. So let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Any musicians, movie stars, whatever, anything you'd like to see NECA doing. Let's certainly you know talk about that. But uh, appreciate you checking out the video. Of course, you can always find me on any of these socials down here. Most importantly, though, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe below. And until next time, take it easy. Shut up!